Hooking up with a kinky chick is awesome. But not if you wake up locked in chains. There's only one thing that can save your ass now, dude. There! How can you open a combination lock with a beer can? We asked an escape artist. There are three or four main parts of a combination lock. You've got your shackle, your dial, the main lock casing, and the lock mechanism inside. So how does it work? You use the dial to move the mechanism out of the way, and you can open the shackle. The only problem is, that dirty girl didn't give you the combo. To escape, you gotta use the beer can to make a shim, a tapered wedge used to pick the lock. The reason that you can use a beer can is that the wall of the can is about 0.25 of a millimeter thick. And the gap between the shackle and the body of the lock is just a bit bigger than that. But you have to know exactly how to make it. Step one, you want to empty a can of beer. It's my favorite part. Step two, you want to cut a rectangle that's about an inch by two inches. No problemo! And you cut the rectangle into the shape of a letter M. M stands for huge melons, dude! Bend up the two side parts of the M until it looks like a, a jock strap. Bending your jock is what got you into this mess. Step three, put your jock strap shim around the shackle of the lock and push the pointy bit down into the mechanism. You turn it 380 degrees at that point then you should be able to pop the lock open. The point of the shim will trigger the spring, opening the combo lock and setting you free! How can you open a combination lock with a beer can? By making a shim! Now it's time for you to teach that naughty girl a lesson.